and also uh, as social systems, can we encourage our communities and places where people are learning together and collaborating? And he had all this engineering training. And when he was interviewed after he went into orbit, he said that that moment of looking down on the earth was one of complete wonder. He knew his stuff, he knew his skills, but he dropped all sense of being his own head, computing and thinking. And he just stared at the earth with a sense of wonder. Raise your hand above your head if you've ever felt like that yourself. Like, wow, this is amazing. And I'm in my body, but I'm also out of my body at the same time. We could have a talk for, you know, a day about this in social media. I think that VR is actually not a medium. It's an experience that can bring people back to themselves. So when I hear about digital innovation and about people using different media and feeling oversaturated and overwhelmed, I feel like VR has the capacity, both in education and in our personal life, to bring us back closer to ourselves. And I think it's it's interesting to really step back and look at how we're using different forms of technology and how we're how we're um, approaching ourselves in the process. Just watch the leaves drifting. There are leaves that are falling down all around us. And when people come in together to a space where they're invited to be themselves, be comfortable, learn about mindfulness practices, there's so many of them, and also learn about ways that you can take them back to your groups. We connect more deeply when we slow down, when we feel present in an experience, um, and when we're free to create and explore and wonder because that bottom line of creativity and innovation tends to come from that type of mindset. Mindfulness and social emotional aspects invite me to use myself as a testing ground.